It's about that time of day again. My name is Joseph. Wednesday evening, August 29th. Welcome back to your nightly newsletter. My job is to help new traders earn consistent profits using a simple and reliable trading strategy. And my plan this evening is to identify the most reliable trading opportunities setting up for tomorrow's trading session. And tonight, I'm covering crude oil. S&P, NASDAQ, gold, and euro. Starting off this evening with oil, crude is bullish with a strong run higher, and that tells me to look for buying opportunities, but I'm waiting for a two-legged pullback, and I've got my eyes on a key reversal line down at 35 tomorrow morning. The S&P is also bullish. It's a spike in range on the E-mini tonight. That tells me to look for buying opportunities below the range low, and I'm watching a key support trend line coming off a hidden channel tomorrow morning. NASDAQ is bullish with a strong spike and channel pattern of its own tonight. That tells me to look for buying opportunities, and I'm watching for some bear traps down at those lows tomorrow. We're still waiting for that deep pullback on the NASDAQ. Tomorrow might be the day we get it. How about gold? Gold is bullish with a weak, weak bull channel. That's a really important clue for the gold because that tells me to focus on failures for buying opportunities at the low of that channel. But the key to gold is, is we're really waiting for a new breakout higher, and I've got my eyes on a potential hidden channel. You want to stick around for that gold chart. I'll we'll get the plan together on gold here in just a few moments. The euro is bullish with a spike in range pattern of its own tonight, and that tells me to look for buying opportunities using the range expansion support levels tomorrow morning. Well, we talked about the increased volatility into the end of the month, and we talked about the need to make our money before Friday, right? We get that Labor Day weekend coming right around the corner, and that's exactly what we got in today's session. And now, with some nice strong moves to finish off today's session, we're looking great for another round round of reliable trading opportunities for tomorrow morning. As always, I got a great newsletter in store for you guys and gals tonight. We got a big day setting up tomorrow, probably the last full day of trading. I got a great plan in store for you guys with some big news kick off tomorrow's session. Before we jump in though and put the plan together, please don't forget you can find a detailed description of this entire trading strategy written out right here on my blog at sidewaysmarkets.com. I'll leave the link in the description of the YouTube video. Also, if you have any questions about anything covered in tonight's video, please remember to post them in the comment section below. And if you like what you see, please help support this channel by subscribing. And don't forget to hit the bell icon so you always get notified when I publish another video. Oh, and don't forget, if you want to stay in tune with everything we do here at School of Trade to make sure you never miss a beat, head over here to sidewaysmarkets.com. All the links are in the description of the video. And make sure you join our mailing list. That's right, upper left-hand corner, all I need is your name and your email address. Yes, a real email address because I'm going to send you an email every time I publish something new. If you're hanging out on social media, stock Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, I put new exciting content on my social media channels. You won't find them anywhere else on the interwebs. If you're on social media, follow me in the lower left-hand corner. And then how easy is this? All the charts from tonight's video, if you're not going to be with me tomorrow in the trade room, make sure you grab those charts because that's going to be your lifeline right? without me tomorrow. Grab those charts and be ready for tomorrow's trading session. And then, of course, if you're not a member here and you'd like to see a free pass, upper right-hand corner, if you want a deeper dive, if you want to test drive this strategy if you want to see how this strategy works on real charts right join that free pass in the upper right hand corner and don't forget if you have any questions about anything we talked about here tonight you can always drop a comment in the comment section below right or hit me up on live support on the right hand side of the website looking good hope you guys had a great day boy what a great day today what a beautiful day today a little bit sluggish at first but boy oh boy do they finish strong here today for most of these markets except for gold we're going to talk look at gold here in just a moment tomorrow is most likely going to be the last full day of the month of august uh, again we talked about how next monday is the labor day holiday markets closed on monday but back to normal schedule on tuesday so just a heads up not going to have a newsletter for you guys on monday right i'll be out like uh, everyone else enjoying the last few drops of summer so we talked about this earlier Tomorrow is is kind of the end of the road here, right? Tomorrow is the last full day, right, of trading opportunities. Friday is probably going to be a bit of a half day, so keep that in the back of your mind, right? Tomorrow, a lot of psychology running through the market tomorrow. 
got to get in, got to make my money before Friday, right? A lot of traders know they're probably not going to get that much on Friday. And with that end of the month coming around the corner, that combination of that scarcity, right? That limited time left in the month, combine that right with that holiday weekend coming around the corner here. We tomorrow could have another powder keg of price action tomorrow morning. Don't forget it is summertime trading. So this will be saw today. There will be times where the markets are slow, right? But boy, oh boy, did they make up for that time towards the end of the day today. Looking at the news for tomorrow though, we got jobless claims and personal income tomorrow to kick things off. I don't expect jobless claims to have too big of an impact, but I do expect those personal income and personal outlays, right? What is that? It's inflation right inflation that's a that's an inflation number right personal income right in outlays that will be compared with right the consumer prices that we saw last week and so this is inflation so when i think inflation i'm thinking dollar i'm thinking gold i'm thinking currencies so definitely watching that right closely tomorrow morning gold euro will definitely be on our radar right at 8 30 eastern time towards the end of the day tomorrow we have a minor news report right at 4 30 eastern time the fed's balance sheet that may give us a little bit of a late session rally before the electronic markets close but just be aware right late in the day tomorrow might be a little bit a little bit erratic because we know a lot of traders wisely will be closing out positions ahead of that friday august the 31st so tomorrow get to it early be patient, right? Again, like we saw today, we may see some times where things are relatively slow, but it will likely make up for it with increased volatility, right, at some point tomorrow morning. Don't forget, 8 o'clock Eastern time, we'll be in our trade room. I hope to see you there, and we'll trade the strategy together. All right, let's jump into our charts here tonight. We got crude, S&P, NASDAQ, gold, and we'll wrap up tonight on the euro. Crude is bullish with a strong run higher. Got a spike in channel, a possible trading range, and a measured move on the chart this evening the strong run higher tells me that buyers will be eagerly waiting to buy the next pullback which would ideally be down around the low of this spike in channel in combination of course with that reversal line at 35 while no matter where we get the pullback we know the target is up at that measured move right and a retest of that 69.90 monthly highs the most important thing on this chart right now tonight on the crude oil is a strong move up a pullback and at this point it looks like a double top we talked about this in pretty good detail last night on the newsletter what do we look for what do we call a bull market that shows a retest with a double top we call it a trading range right until we see more proof right until we see it continue through we have to call this a trading range so we know this is a bull market into a range bull market into a trading range what's the best way to trade those range bound marks the bull bias two try rule right one try two try buying back up let the bears try once let the bears try twice and then once those bears fail their second attempt we look for right we look for that second try failure it's called a two try breakout failure pattern You'll learn more about those patterns as a client of mine. And to be very honest with you, right, you can see hundreds of examples of that to try breakout failure i'll toss a free course in the upper right hand corner i'll also link it up in the description here at the bottom if you want to see a lot more examples right of all of these patterns i'm talking about tonight grab that free trading course you'll register on our website at schooltrade.com if you have any trouble with your registration just call me in the office that's toll free number right on the home page there at schooltrade.com and i'll get you hooked up so grab that free course to learn more about those patterns right so one try to try failure back up in right what if the market goes higher though right what if we don't get that pullback right what if we don't get that pullback what if it goes higher here if it goes higher here we really got to be careful about that measured move but really the measured move really isn't the big deal here this is a huge you got to go way way back right to find that high right from the end of july right end of the month up there at 69.90 right you can see how far you got to go back right to get that high so we know there are likely going to be a bunch of big market objectives up here if we go lower i'm looking for the two try failure right if we go higher what's the plan then traps if we go higher here now right we run higher here now now i know we're bullish we don't have a range right so if we go higher here now 
right? We go higher. This is not a range. And it will basically be a short-term spike in channel. Find that new high, off that high, off that low, and looking to buy, right, the low of that channel. You know, we may also get it to continue, right, and then go sideways up top, right? That wouldn't surprise me at all, right? Bull market into another range. One try, two try. Remember, anytime we see a mark go sideways, we're looking for that two try rule, right? Always that two try rule. So we know what we're looking for if the market pulls back. One try, two try, right? Let those bears fail, buy into their failure. I'll then draw a trend line off those highs, match up to that low, and I'll look for what I call, right, the bull pullback, right? It's a two try failure, one try, two try. Failure pattern, right, into a pullback pattern. Again, that will be whether or not we go down, right, or if we go up. Look for that new hidden channel, right, and find, right, and find the buy off of that low. And again, these hidden channels, these two try pullbacks, right, these, all these patterns I'm talking about tonight, I'm going to link up in the description here, that free trading class. I'll put it in the upper right-hand corner. That way, if you want to see more examples of those, if you want to learn all the terminology, it's there for you. Now, what happens if we reverse? How would we reverse here tomorrow? How would we reverse? Well, it all revolves around strength. Look at how strong the market was going higher today. We're going to need to see, sorry about that, we're going to need to see that one, two, three reversal, right? The key is there's exclamation points at the end of that reversal. What does a one, two, three reversal look like? Well, it starts off with number one, strong move down. Now, that strong move down may not get very far because we may get that one try, two try, and then again, Failure, strength, pullback, right, and back up we go. So that's my plan for tomorrow. However, right, if we do see it, one, two, three, right, the one is the move lower, the two is the pullback to the moving average, got to pull back to the moving average, three is that rocket off the moving average, then what? Draw out those lows, off to that high, bingo, selling off that high I know it's tough because you know everybody wants to predict reversals but the problem is you know this is very difficult to predict a reversal right look back in time look at how strong that move down was if they would have held that pullback strong move down pull back and go that'd be a bear market but instead all we get is a strong move down one try two try failure pull back right there you see that pattern Right? That pattern happens over and over and over again. And again, in that free trading class I keep talking about, which is linked up in the description, right? you'll see lots of examples on real charts. So I want to buy the pullback. I don't want to chase the market higher. And I'm ready for if the market reverses tomorrow. Don't forget, 8 o'clock Eastern time, I'll see you in the trade room, right? and we'll execute this together. How about some S&P? S&P is bullish, spike in range, hidden channel, reversal line, and measured move on the chart this evening spike and range first that tells me to avoid buying these highs and look to buy either a successful breakout pullback or look for buying opportunities using the two try rule below that range low while the hidden channel right this hidden channel coming up off the low hidden channel right that hidden channel combined with this reversal line at 09 half those both provide key support levels if we can get the market to pull back. No matter what happens, though, the bull target is going to use that first leg up. That's the measured leg. You know, and again, think of this almost like a five-wave sequence, right? One, two, three, four, five, right? It will match most often. You know, every once in a while, that, that wave five will be larger than wave one. But in typical, you know, sometimes it's, it's the size of wave three, if you're familiar with, with Elliott principle. But the bottom line, though, is wave one, usually going to be similar, right, to wave five. We have our, our measured move, which right now is to be determined. But right now, it's calculated up there at 2185. If we do get a pullback lower, right, let's say it pulls back to that reversal line, now that measured move will be a little bit lower. Right, so be aware of that. Take that first initial move up, right? Again, wave one, two, three, four, five, right? Looking for that pullback here right now. And again, like I mentioned, right, if we don't pull back all the way, we still have that measured move waiting up there at 29, right, 81. So right now, that's where it is right now. So bottom line is we got that trading range, strong move up, double top, 
right? We pull back. You can see exactly what happened here. Go up, double top. That double top tells you what? Trading range. What does the trading range tell you? Two try rule. One try, two try, failure. I'm not making this stuff up, guys. You can see these patterns happening over and over and over again. This is exactly the same thing I talked about on the oil a few moments ago. So now we know we don't want to buy into these highs, right? Because that isn't worth the last few times. So really the best opportunity here right now is going to be getting low, or getting that breakout pullback. Now, what's a breakout pullback look like here? A breakout pullback needs to break out strong enough to get the moving average up above the high of this range at 16s. Then we look for that two-legged pullback. The two-legged pullback is critical for this pattern because what happens is it gets the sellers thinking that we're collapsing back in. And then once we see that nice strong signal, all those sellers are caught trying to call a top and we can roll right through their stops. It's a great pattern. I call it the fake out breakout pullback or the F-O-B-O-P-B. -B. <laughs> a little inside joke in our trade room. The bottom line though is, is again, you can learn more about those patterns, right? Grab that free course. You see lots of examples of that, of that pattern. It's linked up in the description or in the upper right hand corner. So that's what we look for if the market, right? If the market pushes higher here again be careful that measured move is right overhead so don't chase after it by the pullback either that or we go lower again i got my eyes lower that channel got my eyes on that 09 half one try moving average comes over two tries off the moving average right gotta see it off the moving average that leads into a failure what happens when the bears fail they become buyers now we got buyers buying we got sellers buying everybody's buying this thing don't chase after it wait for the pullback right and we'll buy the low of that new channel again it's a seller failure right into a bull pullback right again lots of great patterns we can use on this just want to make sure i incorporate those patterns at a level of support rather than buying at resistance and again grab that free trading course you can see lots more examples of this it's linked up in the description how do we reverse what does a reversal look like is it a strong move down no because a strong move down could easily fail right off the moving average we're going right back up again right that's the that's the easy money to be honest with you right what else we need though a pull back to the moving average and then we need to see these buyers walk away from the table collapse now i know i know we all want to predict that move down right because that's what the big money is right you're in early the problem though is it's all about probability it's all about reliability and probability, right? I want I want to take trades that are easy money, right? As, as, as my buddy Jim Rogers always says, I want to find those opportunities where all I have to do is walk over and pick up a bag of cash. I don't want to have to fight over it. There's so many opportunities we can take each day, right, that aren't very difficult to make money with if we just wait for them. So rather than trying to predict this pullback here, heck with that, I'm going to get better. I, we, we can do better than that. We can find that new channel, draw that new trend line, right, and then use that resistance off of that prior low, off of that trend line, right? That will give us an easy opportunity there, right? To push this sucker lower. And then if we do, we spend a lot of time around that 2,900 big round number. I would imagine that's probably going to be, right? Where this market wants to go if we do fail. So that'll be our target waiting on the S&P. Let's keep going, shall we? Boy, that NASDAQ sure rang the bell today, didn't it? Wow. NASDAQ is bullish with a strong bull run, a spike in channel, a hidden channel, and a reversal line on the chart this evening. The strong bull run always tells me to look for buying opportunities using a two-legged pullback to major support levels with the target going back up to retest the high. The short-term spike in channel pattern tells me to look for a deep pullback, enter with bear traps and seller failures, while that hidden channel coming off those lows will be key support if we finally get the deep pullback we really haven't had a chance right to get yet so bottom line strong bull run right it's very easy to see they barely even touched the moving average today it's uncommon right it doesn't happen very often like that so very very strong bull run anytime we see a strong move in one direction what do we know we know the odds are very good for a two-legged pullback and a retest of the high now if it pulls back now, we'll wait for the buy of the two-legged pullback. If it keeps going higher, we'll wait for the pullback and buy that pullback. So it really just matters right now. Stay patient and wait to find support levels to buy low. Support levels to buy low, I've got a hidden channel now coming over those highs. 
I hope we get this pullback. I hope we get a deep enough pullback down to the low of that channel today. That Tomorrow, that'd be great. Uh, as you can see, though, this <laughs> we haven't quite seen much of a pullback yet. So hopefully tomorrow, right, is the day there. I really got my eyes on this area right there. Anytime you see a bunch of dojis stocked up, you know, stacked up next to each other, if you were to put a volume indicator on here, right, if you were to look at volume, you would see this. Right, you'd see a lot of volume there, right, and of course low volume up here. This would be your high volume node right there, right? That's probably where a lot of volumes piled up, right, on that chart. And once we start getting thin up here, because people don't want to keep buying all-time highs, right, we'll likely return back to where the most amount of volume is going to be. So you really want to keep your eyes on these areas, right, where you've got a lot of overlapping candlesticks. And, you know, who knows if it reverses, right, lots of overlapping candlesticks there, right? That's where all the volume right is likely there right that's where most of the volume is right there so we're looking for a pullback into that volume area to let those big buyers right reload the guns here again i want to buy support so basically i'm looking for a nice pullback lower let's Let's zoom a little bit closer here. There really isn't any target up here. There's no measured move. There's no double up. There's really no projection. The only real target's going to be if we can pull back. The first target is a retest of the high. And then typically on in an all-time high scenario, the amount of that pullback can be projected now, right, as the big target going ahead, you know, go, going forward. You know, you remember, traders have to get pretty creative up here because there isn't a lot to use here. You know, it's not easy like we're talking about on crude. We're going back to retest July's high, right? We're at all-time highs. So it's very difficult to anticipate how far this will go. Right now, we've got that big round number, which is usually going to be a psychological level in these situations. But really, the easy thing would be if we can pull back off that high, measure the amount of the pullback, project that higher right and that will give you an idea of where that one-to-one -one risk reward will be and that's usually where most traders will start to piggyback on right to use their targets so that's the target we're looking for all we need now is a pullback if we can get a deep pullback here what's going to happen is you're going to see buyers most likely jump all over this right so we may see a strong move up if we see a strong move up i'm looking to buy that pullback off the moving average Okay, that's probably what's going to happen. The problem is it'll be difficult to, to time the entry on that strong pullback. So I'd rather get back above the moving average and buy it, right? So imagine for a second, strong move down, but instead of a seller failure, which will be, will be ideal, let's be honest, right? Ideally, we see a one try, two try, one try, two try. That's ideal. Let's just get that right off, the, off, off our chest, right? That's ideal. Bingo. Right, you're buying into that seller failure. It's a two try. It's a two try failure, right? That bear, that seller failure. Then obviously we don't chase after it. We find that new channel. You're gonna see this in the gold in a second, and we then look to buy the low of that channel. So these are two real easy patterns, right? If we get the pullback, but again, don't be surprised though if we get that strong move down on profit taking, not really selling, but profit taking, right? And then of course we see this just jackknife higher. Where it just blasts right back up because buyers, I mean, you can imagine buyers are waiting to buy into this thing as it pulls back. The problem is, unless you're willing to tolerate a big amount of risk, right, unless you're willing to put that stop all the way down here, which just isn't my style, and I help new traders every day for a living, right? So for me, I try to keep my stops as small as I can. Rather than trying to get a small stop on this, why not, or sorry, rather than having to suffer through the uncertainty of trying to catch that falling knife, why not wait for that momentum to get back in your favor and let's buy that pullback again, right? That'll be a lot more reliable trade. Again, you can try to pick the bottom on this. It's just difficult. It can be really difficult, especially in the NASDAQ, right? Then, of course, we're buying off that pullback or new channel, right? This is one of my favorite patterns right there, right? That hidden channel, right, off of, off of that low. You know, and again, everything I'm talking about right now, trap patterns, pullback patterns, failure patterns, I've got that free trading course in the upper right-hand corner, right? Grab that information icon. I'll also link it up in the description of the video here, right? And you can easily grab that there, right? Very, very easy to register for that free trading class. So grab that there. You'll have that. That's easy. Uh, let's see here. That's if, the, that, that's if we pull back, right? What if we don't pull back? What if we keep on going higher here? Right. What if you keep on going higher? We're still waiting for a pullback. Right. We're still waiting 
at that prior swing, we're still waiting for that one try, two try failure. We're still waiting for that pullback, right? Or that pullback, right? Trap low into, right? Into that pullback pattern from there. You know, again, we love the two try rule, one try, two try, failure strength, right? Pull back, back up. That would be ideal. Also, don't forget, whenever a market makes this much movement in one session, do not be surprised if tomorrow we're going sideways. Happens all the time, right? We see big, big moves on one day. The following day, nobody wants to take profit because it's so bullish, but nobody even considers being a seller right now because who would want to sell this razor market, right? So you don't want to sell this thing, right? And, you, and we may not see this market going higher here. If we see the market going range bound tomorrow, take the size of that range, project it lower, okay? Project it lower and that's your key support, right? So if we do project it lower, one try, two try, we're buying off that key support. Does that make sense, right? Take the size of that range, project it lower, Okay, and then if you can, try to line it up with other support levels there. I mean, that would be ideal, right? At least stack on those levels of support. That always makes our job a whole lot easier. Last but not least, how do we reverse? What do reversal look like? Almost impossible. At, at this point, I mean, we're going to have to see, it's going to have to be some huge, some huge headlines for this thing to reverse, right? I mean, it would literally have to be like Facebook's closing, Right, it, like it'd be something crazy, right? Take this market reverse because anything that pulls back right now is probably going to be seen as a buying opportunity. With that said, though, a reversal would require that one, two, three reversal, right? Again, it's strong move down. That's one. It's pulled back to the moving average. That's two, right? Do not predict that reversal. It hasn't gone too far. I don't care what the little voice in your head says. The market has not gone too far. I don't care if it's a pivot point or a Fibonacci extension up here. The momentum is way, way too strong to be trying to sell this market. Wait for that follow through, right? That one, two, three reversal, and then find that new channel. Then we know we can sell right off that high. Don't be surprised, though, if we get the reversal just to see it finish the session tomorrow, going back up to retest the high. If we do get that strength pullback strength and we run lower, remember, if it jumps back up again, one, two, three, right, that's your buy into that new hidden channel, right? We're not trying to call the reversal. We'll wait, either wait to get the momentum back above the moving average and then buy that pullback from there. All right? Don't try to catch a falling knife. It's not worth it. Like I said earlier, there are so many reliable opportunities. We don't need to dilute right, or, or basically decrease our probabilities. Right? We want to stay focused on taking trades that have us in the most reliable opportunities every day because we're not here to trade one day. We're here to trade the rest of our lives, hopefully. right? That's the beauty of trading. We can do it in a wheelchair someday. Right? With our grandkids, right, playing, right, playing in the background. Right? We can, you can do that with trading. We want to be alive long enough, right, to do that. That's why I always encourage my clients to focus on probabilities. Take care of yourself mentally, physically, psychologically. I'll talk more about that in our trading classes. Let's keep going. How about some gold right now? Gold is bullish. Well, barely. We'll say we'll say bullish for now, but barely bullish with a two try rule, a bull channel, a possible hidden channel on the chart this evening. The sellers clearly tried twice to retest yesterday's low, right? You can see we had that big drop down, right? You can easily see they tried once, new higher high, tried twice. You can easily see they tried twice to retest yesterday's low. Anytime we see a strong move in one direction. We expect to see those bears getting back down to retest that low, right? Well, typically, here's the problem, right? Usually when you see a two-try failure like that, usually now this thing busts higher, right? Short covering rally. All the sellers who got short yesterday or all the sellers who were trying once, twice to finish off that retest of that low, they're now usually, usually after a two-try failure, they usually panic. And they hit, the, they hit the buy button, basically, right? They get out, right? Market order, get me out of this thing. And usually, that's going to explode higher. And then typically, when it explodes higher like this, we typically are able to grab that new channel off those highs, and we can buy off of that high. So a little bit of foreshadowing. We haven't seen that yet. That's why I say it's 
barely bullish. I don't trust this to the downside right now. After that one try, two try, it's going to have to really show me some strength for me to really trust this right to the downside right now because I just don't think anybody's right, anybody's interested in the downside anymore. So now the next big clue, and again, a week, right? The, the, the first big clue is is two try rule, right? So we're waiting for this explosion higher. And if I can get that explosion higher, I'm looking for that new channel, right? And I'll buy off the low of that channel. That's going to be the, that, that should be the easy, as Jim Rogers says, right? That bag of cash sitting in the corner. All you do is go pick it up. That should be a pretty easy trade if we can get that short covering rally. You can also see I've got this bull channel here tonight, right? And that bull channel, the first thing you can see is how, is how weak it is, right? Remember, one of the easiest tests is the 45-degree angle test, right? A bull channel, a healthy bull trend, you should be able to draw a basically a line from one corner to the next, right? That's 45 degrees. So when we look at a chart and I see a trend that is giving me at least a 45-degree angle, I know I can be relatively aggressive buying the low of that channel because I know that the sellers can't make any money in this market, right? Now, think about it. Are you going to sell off that high, right? You're going to sell off that high knowing that there's a very small amount of space that before buyers come back in and run it higher, you're not going to, right? So bears are kept on the sidelines, giving me the green light to be a little bit more aggressive. I can take traps. I can take failures. Everything's on the table there. But when I look at this chart tonight and I see this is not a 45 degree angle, right? It's less than a 45 degree angle. That's just my way of doing it, right? You may look at this and go, well, Joe, you don't need a 45 degree. You can see it's a weak bull trend. It's a weak bull trend. Now, what does a weak bull trend mean? Well, remember, it tells me now that if I'm a seller, yeah, I can sell this, right? I can sell that because there's enough space for me now to make money before the buyers come back in to run me out. So every time the mark goes higher here, right, again, sellers can keep trying to play ball with this. So the most important lesson on this is stay the heck away from these highs, right? Be very careful trying to buy high right now. We really want to get this market low, right? Get those bears to try to break this thing lower. Remember, though, we got that trend line coming in. I want to look for that nice move lower. What a weak, what a weak channel tells me is there will still be sellers, right? It's a bull channel. There'll still be sellers trying to play ball here right now. Catch those sellers on the wrong side of the market. You can see it here. You can see it here, right? We go down. The bears try to sell it. They fail, right? Back up. Try it again. Bears try to sell it. They fail. Back up. That's the plan again. Let it go lower. Let the bears try to sell it. Watch them fail. Look for that buy, right, into their stops, okay? That'll be, that'll be the, again, another should be a relatively easy pattern tomorrow if we get that move lower, right, to try to buy the low of that range. Now, one try, two try, failure, strength, pullback, back up to retest the high, right? Failure. Strength, pullback, either one of those patterns will work great. Just stay away from the high of that range because that's where the sellers are hanging out. That's where they're going to be hanging out. Now, remember, if we do get that move jumping higher here, well, perfect. Now we can draw that new channel, and now we know the bears are beat, and now we can buy off that, off that new hidden channel. Right. And again, hidden channels are so are so effective because they catch traders not looking. If you want more examples of hidden channels, I literally have hundreds of examples of hidden channels in my free trading course. It's up top. Right. It's in the upper right hand corner. It's also a description right of that of that video. We're looking good here. OK, how do we reverse? Right. We're barely bullish right now. How do we reverse? What does reversal look like here tomorrow? Strength. Yeah, that's one thing. Pull back. Got to see that pullback hold, right? And then strength going through. Now, remember, at this point now, we'll, we'll be back down to retest that low. This is where things are going to get interesting, right? Let's say here now we make that run back down to retest that low. Well, the problem is now we're at the objective. You're going to see one of two scenarios here, or one of three, really. One would be a push through, and I can look for that breakout pullback, below that range, right? Get that moving average down, right? That'll be our follow-up trade, below that low. 
Okay, get up to see a lot of strength though, a lot of strength going through that low. Okay, do not try to buy that low if this market just kind of fiddles around that low. It's got to be blasting through that low, right? Like like it's going out of style, like like nothing's left. Everyone's selling it. Okay, that's one option. Another option is going to be, which is more common, I would imagine, is we're going to most likely see a bounce into a range down here. That range is bearish. One try, two try, sell back down again. Same strategy we talked about for the bulls today. Now for the bears. Okay, third scenario. Okay, this is also likely a run, right? A strong, a strong reaction off that low. We get that strong reaction off that low. That will tell me this is a trading range. Okay, that's your trading range. Okay, it'll be right back up around these highs, right? 12, 12. If we get that strong push up, it'll be a range, and we should be able to get a quick scalp going back up to retest that high. With me on this? Right? So if we bounce off of that low, right? If we see this thing bounce, real strong bounce off that low. Okay, now we know this is just a bear trading range. And what's will happen is it'll rotate back and forth. So we can catch it off that low. We can be a buyer off that low if we can get that strong enough bounce. All right, guys? Great, great chart here on the gold. A weak, weak trend. Buy low. Don't buy high. Watch for that spike up, right? That hidden channel possibly coming. Likely, we got to wait for it right now. And again, summertime trading, right? Be aware tomorrow morning, that 8.30 news, we may only get some good price action tomorrow on gold around that news at 8.30 tomorrow because it's inflation-based. So keep your eyes open early in the session. Then wrapping up tonight here on the euro, euro is bullish, right? Euro is bullish with a spike in range, a hidden channel, a measured move, actually two measured moves, and a battle zone on the chart this evening. The spike in range tells me to look for buying opportunities. You guys are experts on this stuff by now, right? Spike in range pattern, right? Strong move up, double top off the high. That's a spike in range pattern. What does it tell me? It tells me buy below those lows, right? It tells me buy below those lows, right? Spike in range tells me look for buying opportunities using seller failures below the range, right? Or what? Or a break out pull back above the range right remember take the size of that range project it lower that becomes key support one try two try buying back up okay the hidden channel hidden channel hidden channel it's really at this point it's just a support trend line really take those two lows Right, that's all it really is to support trend line, right, as it's going higher here. So that's a key level of support. Remember, it's a bull market, right? You want to stack on those levels of support as many levels as you can get, right? It won't hurt, that's for sure. All right, and of course, I got two measured moves in the chart one is one leg, two leg. That is an easy target going higher because we have that big, strong move, big two legged pullback, retest that high. Right. Anytime we see a strong move in one direction, deep pullback, retest that high. So we know where the buyers are hunting for right now. Measured move is just a cherry on top. We can also, again, we got some big inflation reports tomorrow morning at 830. Who knows? Maybe we really get this party going tomorrow and we get that big, big measured move. That's long term target, possibly later on this week, just above the 18,000 right big round number. So we know we get that trading range. That's the big clue here right now, right? One try, two try, failure going back up, breakout pullback pattern needs to get above that range. Again, it's a two-legged pullback, right? Two-legged pullback on breakout pullbacks, not one-legged pullbacks, two-legged pullbacks that will dramatically increase your odds of success in those breakout pullbacks, right? That's the price if we see this mark going range bound. What if we keep going higher here? Keep going higher. Don't be afraid to find this as a new channel. Buying the low of that channel. All right. What else here? What else? Uh, let's see here. How do we reverse? Reversal? Could easily reverse. Yep. It could easily reverse. You know, we're about halfway off that move. I don't think we're. I don't think we're going to see a reversal very easily here. But it could happen. Strength. Pullback. Right. Pull back to the moving average. Right. Strength going lower. Bingo. Find that new low. Find that high. Perfect. Up off that high. Jackpot. Right. Where's my target? Target back down to retest that low. So pretty easy strategy here on the euro. Just got to wait for the pattern at this point now. 
And don't forget, tomorrow morning, get there on time with me tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock Eastern time tomorrow. We open up our trade room. We'll go over the entire plan. We'll find out which markets are moving best, and we'll attack, attack, attack the plan that we're talking about tonight. Brand new traders, I got a great beginner course here at School of Trade, experienced traders, or if you want a great trade room to make sure you're kicking butt every day in the markets, grab the advanced course, grab the beginner course, and don't forget, my job is to help ordinary people turn into extraordinary traders. If you want to learn more, I got a great free trial on the homepage of the website. Hit me up on live support, grab that free trading class in the description of the video tonight, and don't forget, if you have any questions, you can always drop me a comment, call the toll-free number, hit me up on live support. Plenty of ways to reach out and get more information. And if you're in Los Angeles, come by and see us sometime at our corporate headquarters here in South LA. Thank you much for being here. My name is Joseph. Always appreciate your valuable time here every evening. Be well out there. Be nice to each other, will you? And be here tomorrow morning or back here tomorrow night for our next edition of our nightly newsletter. Adios, amigos.